Lord Baden-Powell, a British lieutenant general and the founder of the World Scouting Movement, was once quoted saying, leave the world a little better than you found it. This is probably my all-time favorite quote. This kind of philosophy has been adopted by a lot of different groups. Having been the founder of the uh, World Scouting Movement, the Boy Scouts of America specifically have always held his philosophy to a very high standard and adopted it, rewording it to mean things like leave your campsite better than you found it, for example. Coders have a concept called the Boy Scout Rule, which is leave a module better than when you checked it out. Even Blockbuster asked you to rewind the VHS tapes before you return them, so a lot of people have really taken to this philosophy, and I think I can see why. Interpretations of this very basic concept are absolutely everywhere, and everyone kind of has their own version of it. I've heard this quote ages ago, probably in my time in Scouts, but I didn't exactly know where it was attributed to, so in my research I saw all kinds of uh, different sites and resources, including ministries, self-help sites, positivity blogs, the Boy Scouts of America, a relationship advice article from the Huffington Post, Uh, and of course, Pinterest articles. It seems to me that the interpretation varies mostly around the word world. Many sources point to this being the environment, the ecological world. Leave the world better than you found it. Leave it less damaged. Leave it healthier. Improve something about it. It's kind of a progeny sort of thing. Leave a world better for your lineage so they can have a world they can enjoy more than you did and their kids beyond that. Some sources kind of speak practically on this, very down-to-earth, saying to change the world, to make it better, is to make it more efficient or convenient. To leave a better world is to one, leave one with better ideas, faster cars, cooler cameras, smarter computers, better medicine. So a better world is one that has fancier stuff in it, maybe. A lot of sources see the world in a social sense. It's humanity is the world that we're talking about. You want to leave humanity better than when you found it. These days we see a lot of progressive movements and social change, and that's pretty fantastic. Because they're trying to leave the world better than they found it. They're trying to make the world more accepting and hospitable than when they came in. And that's pretty great. They see a problem and they want to fix it. They want to leave the world better than they found it because they found it with a flaw. Lieutenant General Robert Baden-Powell was a very well-decorated veteran of the British Army in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. He served for 34 years in several campaigns, mostly in Africa, and through that time he wrote several books on military theory, mostly on topics like reconnaissance and scouting, which became very popular with young boys at the time. Upon his return from his military career, and having seen the success and popularity of his books, he published Scouting for Boys to cater directly to the youth who made his earlier books bestsellers. This launched the world scouting movement, and not only his ideas, but his philosophies spread throughout the international youth. He wrote in his final days the aim of the movement, to promote healthy, happy, helpful citizens of both sexes, to eradicate the prevailing narrow self-interest, personal, political, sectarian, and national, and to substitute for it a broader spirit of self-sacrifice and service in the cause of humanity, and thus to develop mutual goodwill and cooperation not only within our own country, but abroad between all countries. Some of the reading I've done on this topic makes it look like his purpose was to write military guidebooks and teach young people how to survive in the woods, and this is far, far from the truth, as his writings suggest. The source of the quote that I mentioned earlier is from Lord Baden-Powell's final letter to scouting. In his farewell letter, he speaks of different ways to find happiness. He tells the reader that he lived a most happy life and wishes the same for the reader. His guiding final advice tells us that the real way to get happiness is by giving out happiness to other people. Try and leave this world a little better than you found it, and when, you t when your turn comes to die, you can die happy in feeling that at any rate, you have not wasted your time, but have done your best. This was Lord Baden-Powell's philosophy. Leave nothing as good or worse than when you found it. Leave it better. Improve it. One story that really exemplifies this philosophy is the legend of the Unknown Scout. The legend goes that a wealthy multimillionaire and outdoor enthusiast, William D. Boyce, lost his way on a particularly foggy street while visiting London and was helped by an unknown scout. The scout showed him his way to where he was staying, where he needed to go, 
and even guided him there, walking him there instead of just giving directions. Boyce offered a tip to the scout, who declined, telling Boyce that, as a scout, he strove to do at least one good turn every day. Boyce became interested in the scouting movement, and having gotten the address from the scout, proceeded to the scout headquarters, located there in London. The legend says that Boyce spoke with Baden-Powell that night and volunteered to bring scouting to the United States. There are some incongruities with the legend, like there actually never was any fog, Boyce never personally met Baden-Powell that night, but the meaning is still clear. A small action to improve one man's day led to the formation of a massive organization for doing good. Baden-Powell's philosophy was absorbed by the unknown scout, who managed to be in the right place at the right time to help out the right multimillionaire, and the world has been made all the better for it. Baden-Powell's philosophy of improving the world at least a little bit, doing a good turn every day, and making the world one you want to live in is very, very broad, very vague, non-specific. It doesn't really say a lot. And I think the philosophy is all the better for it. Making the world better than you found it is not a concrete concept, which gives you the freedom to interpret it however you want. What do you see as the problem? What do you see as what you can make it better? You get to choose based on your own convictions and values and what you personally believe in. To quote one of my favorite movies of all time. You are who you choose to be. My own personal interpretation, in my own opinion, of this quote is similar to that of the scouting movements and of some of the other examples I listed above, but with a special distinction. I say that one should try and make their actions beneficial to the world rather than making new actions for the purpose of benefiting the world. You don't have to go and try and fix the world with your bare hands. I mean, if you want to go out there and build houses for the needy and grow crops and do all that research, then that's absolutely fine. That's tremendous. But for most people, that's not going to be the right thing to do. I think you should take what you do, what you do well, what you want to do, and make it something that benefits the world. Stan Lee once said, I used to be embarrassed because I was just a comic book writer while other people were building bridges or going on to medical careers. And then I began to realize entertainment is one of the most important things in people's lives. Without it, they might go off the deep end. I feel that if you're able to entertain people, you're doing a good thing. While he could have been making houses for the needy or growing crops for the less well-off, he found his true calling and brought his own improvements to the world in a way only he could. He inspired children with his ideas of Iron Man and Bruce Banner and all that stuff and inspiring kids to be more than who they are and showing people that these tremendous heroes are just human. He inspired people in his very own special and unique way that only Stan Lee could. If you really want to live up to Lord Baden-Powell's philosophy, you need to find what you excel at and what you enjoy, and you need to do it, you need to do it well, and as much as you can, you need to do it for good. Find a way to make what you do make the world better. Make the world a little better just because you were there. Now, you may have realized that this video had zero content of any relevance to cubing, and this is because I'm going to be trying to move the channel in an entirely different direction, away from cubing, away from that whole niche. I've been leading the channel a little bit in the direction of uh, video essayism and kind of abstract philosophy kind of deal, and I think that's where I want to go. My topics have become more broad and more abstract, and that's where it should go. That's where Cube Dude is going to head in the future. I no longer think I'm active enough in the community to be a voice for that community, and I still believe I have things to say, so this is really the only direction for me to go. I think it's going to be the best choice, even though I'm kind of leaving one niche for another, but I think it's the best choice to avoid a stagnant channel where I post a video once every four or five months, maybe. You may have already noticed that I've renamed the channel as part of my rebranding. You might notice I'm kind of in a different spot, different set and this is just more of the new content that I'm hoping to produce. And I'll strive to be more active with this change, find another groove like I did before, and hopefully we'll move forward in a beneficial way. Thank you for watching all the way through though, and I really hope for the best from the channel from now on. Thank you so much.